If you wanna build a big network marketing business, it's not enough just to be popular, you have to be a leader. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the three characteristics that a person has to have in order to be a leader, how to develop those characteristics if you don't already have them, and lastly, how to use these three leadership characteristics to build a successful network marketing team. There are three characteristics that every single person that is a leader has. When I started out in network marketing, I had a chicken list. Anybody else have a chicken list? This chicken list had a couple of names on there of people that I really wanted to call because I thought they'd be awesome in network marketing, but I was scared to death to call them. I thought they were out of my league. I thought they were cuter than I was, brighter than I was, smarter than I was. And on that list was somebody that I knew from high school that had been, and on that list was somebody that had already been really successful in network marketing. And so she was at the top of my chicken list. And one day I was finally like, you know what, today is the day. I'm gonna conquer this fear. I'm gonna call him. I'm just gonna kind of test out the waters and see if they'd be interested in doing another opportunity in addition to what they're already doing. And so I gathered up my courage and I dialed her number. And when she answered the phone, I kind of told her, you know, I kind of asked her if she'd be interested in doing another opportunity as well. And she shut me down so fast. She immediately responded with, do you know who I am? Because I am kind of a big deal. Well, when I hung up the phone after that phone call, I was laughing hysterically. I'm kind of a big deal. And I was thinking that is so conceited. That is so weird. That is so, talk about an inflated ego, right? Whatever, miss, I'm kind of a big deal. This opportunity is obviously not for you. You are not the right fit for my team. And then I stepped back a second and I realized how awesome that was. She was so confident that she knew that she was kind of a big deal. What would your business look like if you thought that you were kind of a big deal? Would you talk differently? Would you act differently? Would you make eye contact with people differently? Would you share your opportunity differently with people? You would, right? That is the number one characteristic of a leader, is being confident, being confident in your skin, being confident in your abilities, being confident in what you're doing. The second characteristic of a leader is likability. Do people like you? Now, not everybody is going to like you. Think about the people that you hang out with in real life. There's people that you probably love to do stuff with and people that you're not so crazy about hanging out with. Think about it at the office too. Are there people that you'd rather not have come in that day that you kind of dread going to the office because you know you're gonna see that coworker? That's the same as you. It's okay, not everybody is going to like you. You are gonna repel some people that are just the wrong fit and are gonna naturally attract people that are the right fit. You do this by the things that you like to do. Are you generally friendly? Do you like to be around people? It's okay if you're an introvert, but do you like people? Do people like you? Because let's face it, nobody wants to start a business with somebody that they don't like and that they don't wanna be around. The third characteristic, the third characteristic of being a leader is to be trustworthy. Do you do what you say you're going to do? Can people trust you? Do you tell the truth? Are you honest? When people are starting out in a business, they're gonna be a business partner with you. And if they don't trust you, if they're not sure that the information that you're telling them is correct, they're definitely not going to want to be in business with you. Let me know down in the comments below what you think the most important characteristic of a leader is. Now the great news is that if you do not already have that confidence, if you're not sure how likable you are, if you have a hard time communicating your honesty and your integrity on social media, you can develop these skills. You can fake it until you become the person that you want to be. I am an extroverted introvert. I really like people, 
that it's not something that came natural to me. I'm naturally more shy. And I realized that as I started on this business that I was gonna have to be a little bit more outgoing. I was gonna have to be a little bit more confident if I wanted to become the leader and have the business that I wanted to have. And so I started with baby steps. I started out by going to the grocery store and just making eye contact with people that would make eye contact with me. And once I got comfortable with doing that, I transitioned and I'd make eye contact and then I'd smile. After I got a little bit more confident with that, I would choose a line with people in it. And I'd either talk to the people in the line if they seemed a little bit more friendly and open and made eye contact with me. And I also always made it a point of talking to the cashier as I was checking out, just talking about the weather or what they were doing that weekend or if they were having a great day. And I just ask questions and questions and questions and questions and get to know them. As this became more comfortable to me, that just became something I did. But that was not how I started out to be. I became that person where now it's just natural and it's just kind of who I am. And that also goes along hand in hand with being likable. As you start to become interested in more people, they will naturally be interested in you. People love to talk about themselves. People love to share what's going on in their world. They love to share their opinion. And if you be the place where they can share their opinion and if you are genuinely interested in them, they'll be genuinely interested back in you. And lastly, with being trustworthy. As you start to build your business, people will come to know you. They'll come to trust you. They'll see what you're posting. They'll see how, they, how you interact. They'll see how you live your daily life. And they will naturally know that you do what you say you're going to do. They're gonna see testimonials from other people that know you and that like you. And this comes from sharing your journey, from sharing your story, from sharing parts of your journey that maybe didn't work out the way you thought they were going to, and then how you fixed it, how you solved it, how you became the person that you wanted to be and needed to be. Click the link below and get the free social media igniter guide. This is gonna show you exactly what to do every single day to become the leader that you need to be in order to have a successful network marketing team. Now, just because you have the characteristics of a leader does not automatically mean that you are gonna have a successful network marketing team. Being popular, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be profitable. There was a story about a gal on Instagram who had millions of followers and she'd been asked to sell like 36 t-shirts. And as she went online to sell these t-shirts, nobody bought, none of her followers bought. She had popularity, but she was not an influencer. She did, was not a leader. Now contrast that with the K-pop band, BTS. They went on an interview one time and one of their fans asked what detergent they like to use. And one of the band men members casually mentioned this brand of detergent that they like. And about a week later, they had to ask their fans to please stop buying that detergent because they couldn't buy it anymore because it was sold out at stores. That's influence. Influence does not correspond with a specific amount of followers. You're better off having five super fans who are gonna buy everything you buy, hang on your every word, want you to lead them and show them how to do things, then you are having millions of followers that could care less what you're doing. When you have those leadership qualities and people come to know, like, and trust you, they will buy your products and they will join your team. And think about this for a second. How many people do you really need to join your team in order to go to the top ranks of the company? Not a lot, right? It's a matter of you sharing it with a couple of people who share it with a couple of people who share it with a couple of people. That is influence. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of the social media tips for growing your network marketing business online. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.